Cal Sai. Come share your falling out stories with us. My name is Lisa Prevost and this is my falling out story. I had gone to a mud run with a bunch of friends and family and they had asked me to take a picture at the end of the mud run and I was on the uh, sidewalk and as I went backwards, I couldn't get them all into the picture, so I started going back a little further and went off the sidewalk and kaboom, went backwards. Everybody came running and I wanted to stay clean through the whole thing, but then of course everybody who was hugging me and helping me up was all muddy and I was disgustingly dirty afterwards. Well, the first time I've fallen in my walker was um, on my way to the garage. I've lost my balance because my um, tricep couldn't. I couldn't control my balance because of um, my tricep on this side. So I ended up just kind of rolling over toward that side, and I ended up falling. And it was quite difficult for me to get up, but I made it up. Yeah. Hi, my name is Esme, and this is my falling out story. Um, so it actually happened over this past summer. I was in Sacramento for a little bit before I moved out here to take my new job as a teacher. Um, and I was chilling with my sister, who's about six years younger than me. Um, and we had went to my alma mater, my high school, to visit. So when I went to visit, I was there at lunch, talking to teachers, old teachers that I had, and just updating them on my life. And out of nowhere, a food fight broke out. And so right where I was, some kids started like throwing I guess milk, food, whatever, my direction, not at me, but in the direction where I was at. And um, my sister panicked. And so the chair that I had was just a push chair. It was very narrow at the bottom, so it didn't necessarily have, it was very, um, what's the word that I'm looking for? Not resistant, but easy to tip. Um, and so she was trying to get me out of the way so that way I wouldn't get hit, but then with food, but then she was also trying to protect herself. Uh, so as she was pulling me back, she kind of hit a sharp corner, and I fell out on my face. I busted my lip open. It was really traumatic for all the children and teachers around. Uh, well, it wasn't children, they were high school. Um, but then like my, uh, old, one of my old teachers and the current assistant principal there, he kind of like scooped me up, put me back in the chair, and then they like rushed me to the uh, nurse's office and were like helping me stop bleeding and stuff like that. And, I was there to observe uh, my best friend who was a teacher there because I was going to be a teacher soon and I wanted to, you know, get some jewels from him, but I ended up, you know, falling on my face in front of the whole high school. So, yeah, that's one of my falling out stories. My name's Lance and that was two of my falling out stories. The first time I fell out of my chair was not too soon, uh, long after being out of the hospital. I was trying to walk my sister's dog and my front wheel got stuck and I held on the leash, the dog pulled me clear out of my chair. And I was by myself, so I had to find someone to get me, so I was laying on the ground, just kind of people walking by, yelling at him, trying to help me get back in my chair. Uh, after that, I realized it wasn't such a big deal to fall out of your chair. So when I was at the hospital going down the ramp, I thought it'd be funny to put my hand just straight up in the air. Uh, one of my feet popped off my foot plane and got caught, so I just stood straight up and went flying. And I was laying on the ground, the guy came over to see if I needed help. And I was just like, no, just help me get my pants up. Because my pants got pulled all the way down. And then I, as soon as we realized nothing was like pointing the wrong direction or broken, that one in the parking lot came over and helped me get up. So it wasn't that big of a deal.